In today's video, we're going to be talking about five things you need to know about the new moon that's coming up on Saturday, May 4th. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And hello, if you're new, make sure that you subscribe and click the little bell. That way you're always notified every single time I upload a new video, which is about three times a week. And every single Friday, I have a free pick a card reading on my channel. So you guys don't want to miss out. In today's video, we're going to be talking about five things that you need to know about the full moon or the new moon that's coming up on Saturday, May 4th. If you guys are like me and you guys are in the Pacific Standard Time, then the new moon will be out at 6.45 p.m. on Saturday. And you guys seem to really love my full moon video that I did last month, so I'm going to try to do these every single month, so stay tuned. So the new moon is a time to plant your seeds. It's a time for you to set your goals, set your intentions. It's great for working on your vision board, scripting, burning bay leaves, doing anything to draw in and attract. During the new moon, the moon is not visible to us. We can't see it, so it's a dark moon. The sky will be dark and you won't be able to see the moon at all. So here's five things that you should know and incorporate into your life around the time of a new moon, especially in the new moon that's going on in Taurus right now. So number one, Taurus is very strong in the throat chakra area. So during this new moon time in Taurus, it's gonna be really beneficial and very important for you to spend a little extra time taking care of your throat chakra area. So this means to drink more tea, like have yourself that glass of wine, really take care of your throat, your communication, um, speak what you need to speak, drink a lot more water. Your throat chakra area might be a little bit more sensitive around this time. You might even see yourself or notice yourself talking more during this time or even reclusing or just speaking less during this time. Something that I really, really like to do is rub essential oils on my throat, especially peppermint oil because it opens communication. Number two, Taurus energy is very strong in stability and grounding. Since the new moon is in Taurus, it's gonna be a very powerful time for you to set your intentions right now. Start new projects, get creative. This is the time for you to start something new. Whatever you start or build right now is going to have a very, very strong foundation and basis. It's okay if it's a slow start, but the important thing is that the foundation that you build right now in this time period with the energies that are going on right now is going to be very, very strong. For example, like if you want to plant something, literally plant something like a garden, um, the soil would be perfect right now to plant in. So if that makes sense regarding your intentions and what you want to manifest. Number three. Uranus has entered Taurus. Now, what does this mean? This means for you to be open to change. This energy helps you get out of funks. It helps you step out of your daily routine. It might even push you or force you to change something or to be a little bit more spontaneous or change something in your life. Don't resist this energy because if you resist it, it might cause some complications. Go with this energy, go with the flow, be open to the change that's coming and even invite new changes in your life, small changes. It will be really beneficial for you. Like think about it this way. If you do the same thing every single day, if you take the same route to work every single day and you eat the same food every single day, you're not living your life to its fullest potential. You want to add a little bit of fun. You want to add a little bit of change just to make life a little bit more interesting. And that's the whole energy of this moon right now. Which comes to number four. If there's something that you've been wanting to do or wanting to change, now is the perfect time to do it. All the energy is supporting you and will support you through whatever you're doing. For example, if you wanted to get a haircut, if you wanted to change the color of your hair, if you wanted to wear a different color lipstick, if you wanted to redecorate or remodel your house, if you wanted to buy a new car, things like that, right now the energy is really good for things like that. This also goes for if you want to try out a new restaurant, if you want to try a new food, a new recipe. The smallest, tiniest thing that's different from your everyday thing, right now I feel like it will be so beneficial for you to do that because you'll create a momentum in your own energy and your life will start shifting to a place where you'll start to manifest things faster. You'll be raising your vibration. The secret right now is for you to add subtle changes to your life. And number five, this new moon in Taurus is the perfect time for you to literally work in your garden. Taurus is a very earthy energy, so it's a very good time for you to connect with the earth. Show the earth how 
grateful you are for her and she will return that gratitude back to you. So walk barefoot as much as you can, connect with the earth, go outdoors, spend time in nature, be with nature and trees, gardens as much as you can because it will really help you. You can even work on your own garden. You can buy a plant and just take care of it at home, indoors or outdoors. What I like to do is I like to infuse water with the rose quartz stone and then water my plants with that. You're infusing your plants with love and it's just a very powerful energy when you do that. Since this is a very powerful earth energy, use that earth energy to your advantage. Go with the flow of that energy. Spend time with the earth as much as you can, nature, um, and you'll see a huge difference. So these are five ways that you can use the new moon energy to your advantage. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in my next one.